I want to talk to you guys about my all-time soft plastic lure, the Super Fluke. Nice little chunker. Nice little chunker. On the fluke. All over the country, when water temps begin to hit 50 degrees, you really cannot beat a soft plastic jerk bait fished in these back bays, these marshy areas, uh, main lake points that don't have a ton of current, uh, grass flats, or we're fishing a river system in those eddies. Um, I have been fishing flukes literally my entire life and they have become my bread and butter and when I used to guide for smallmouth on the Raisin River, this is one of the three baits that I had my customers throw year round. Now fishing the Zoom Super Fluke is very, very easy. What I got here in my hand is the standard size, but there's also the junior size that I absolutely love to fish in small river systems or when you get a little bit of a cold front and these fish are still holding up in the shallows, they work really, really well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I rig these up. It's really simple. If you know how to Texas rig a worm, a tube, a creature bait, then you know how to do this. But there's a couple really important tips that you need to know. On the back of the zoom bait, there is three little ridges. You wanna make sure that hook point and that hook is rigged dead center on that center ridge. So you're gonna start by coming right through the center of the head and come down. And then on the, on the throat of the bait, there's a little V section. You wanna make sure that that hook point comes right through the dead center rib of that V and you're gonna bring it all the way down, turn it and push the plastic up onto the eye of the hook. And at this point, you wanna lay your finger right here, figure out where that needs to come through and there's a split in the belly of it. You're just gonna push it right through till you feel it hit your fingertip and then push it in. Now at this point, to make this bait weedless, you're gonna take it, slide it forward, set that plastic right on there and now you have a perfectly Texas rigged, Tex posed hook on this Zoom Super Fluke. Now the way this is rigged, it will go about 50-50 left and right. Um, we'll have a really cool erratic action. There's the suckers. See? Yep. Every time you start finding the suckers, that's when you start locating the fish in this, in this freaking thing. Every time. <laughs> oh, that was hit. Come back and get it again. Something whacked at it. It's probably perch. No, I watched it move. Oh. There it is. Got him. Got him? Yep. Small mouth. Told you I saw something whack at it. Yeah? Yep, I got him. Good size? Yep. Bust out that camera. <laughs> Too. Told you I saw some smallies. Now for fishing the super fluke, I generally use two setups. One will be a spinning rod setup, um, 6'6 to 6'10, medium power if I'm fishing the bigger one. If I'm fishing the junior, I really like fishing it on a medium light. Now that does get things to be a little interesting when you're in and around heavy cover, like I'm sitting right here, um, it gets a little sporty. But the other setup I like to fish, this is actually a 6.7 medium bait casting rod. Um, it is a extra fast tip. It's the gear ratio on the reels is 6.2 to 1. 
both of these, uh, the rod and reel here, I'm actually uh, demoing for upcoming product review here on the channel. So if you're interested in the Classic Pro or the brand new Omen Black 3, keep an eye out on the channel for those reviews in the future. Uh, but this combo is actually doing quite well overall for fishing this big fluke. Yeah, since you stuck around this long in the video, I'm gonna give you a quick little uh, secret. Fish this over a bedding bass, see what happens. For your line choice, I found that you could honestly fish mono, floral, copolymer, or braid with this if you like. Just keep in mind that when you're fishing a mono, that bait is gonna really have a hard time sinking. It's gonna have a much slower fall rate. If you fish it with fluorocarbon like I am right now, that fluorocarbon is actually gonna help keep it down. So you're fishing in you know, that two to five foot of water, it'll help you keep that bait lower in the water column. Um, if you need to get even deeper in that, you can actually put a nail weight into this bait. Um, you can pl plug it in right in the center of the hook gap here on this EWG hook and that will also help it sink down to the bottom. Or like on a Kitex, you can actually put the pegs across through the cross section here and then cut it off and that will help it fall nice and flat. Um, I have seen guys fish it with a belly weighted hook, um, but I generally don't do that. I, I find just putting a nail weight in it works just fine for where I fish this. Three, three. You really thought I'd let her win? <laughs> Picture good? Yeah. Super flukes are an excellent, excellent soft jerkbait choice for both large, spotted, and smallmouth bass. So if you've never fished these, I strongly encourage you to put one on this spring and give her a go. Um, for me, yeah, 50 degree mark is when I start throwing them until about post spawn when you still have males guarding fry. I will still fish these in and around docks on many of the inland lakes here in Michigan. Um, out here on St. Clair, we'll actually put these on drop shots in the summertime as well. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this video. If you found any value in this video, give this video a thumbs up right down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, scroll down hit that red subscribe button and make sure you have all notifications turned on and as always guys tight lines happy casting we'll see you in the next video